HMS Tigress 1808 HMS Tigress was the American merchantman Numa, and then French letter of Marc Pierre César that the Royal Navy acquired by capture and put into service as the gunbrig Tigress. She spent some time on the West African coast in the suppression of the triangular slave trade. The Admiralty later renamed her as Algerine. She was broken up in 1818. Merchantman Tigress was originally launched around 1801 in Baltimore, Maryland, as Numa. There is a record of her taking a half dozen Irish passengers to the United States in 1803. Numa sailed in April 1808 from New York for St. Bartholomew, which was then a Swedish colony, but arrived at St. Pierre, Martinique. Their French merchants bought her and fitted her out as the letter of Marc Pierre Caesar equally Pierre Caesar or Pierre Tsar or Pierre Caesar, and armed her with two six-pounder guns and four eighteen-pounder carronades, though she was pierced for eighteen guns. On 29 May she sailed from St. Pierre for El Orient with a cargo of sugar, coffee, and cotton. One month later, on 29 June, the 40-gun frigate HMS Seine captured her after a four-hour and twenty-minute chase off the Spanish coast. Pierre Cesar was a fast sailor, and her American mate claimed that the frigate would not have caught her had she not been overloaded. Comet HMS Unicorn 1794 and Cossack shared in the capture. British Service The Admiralty bought Pierre Cesar for almost 2266 pounds and took her into service as Tigress, a predecessor Tigress having been lost earlier that year to the Danes, who captured her near age or so in the Great Belt. The Navy fitted out Tigress at Plymouth, arming her with 14 12-pounder carronades and commissioning her in October 1808 under Lieutenant Robert Bones. Tigress sailed to Spithead where on 12 April 1809 she joined the 32-gun 5th-rate frigate HMS Solbay, preparing to sail to the West African coast as part of the nascent West Africa Squadron. The squadron of eleven vessels left on 5 May. Early in her time on the West African coast, Tigress was involved in an attack on the French colony in Senegal in July 1809 that aimed to curtail the activities of privateers. The attack resulted in the capture of the colony, which remained in British hands until 1817. The expedition's success was bought at the cost of the loss to grounding of Solbay, though Solbay's entire crew was saved. Tigress removed the stores from Solbay and then cruises the Senegambian coast for several months before sailing to the Canaries for supplies. On her way back from the Canaries, Tigress lost both masts to a gale. On 3 February 1810, Tigress encountered Crocodile, which had come out to join the West Africa Squadron. The two vessels sailed in company to Freetown, though Tigress lost her main topmast on the way. From Freetown, Tigress sailed to the Rio Pongas and the Isles de Los. Tigress proceeded finally to make some captures. Rio 24, March 1810, Spanish brig captured off Rio Pongas. She landed 129 slaves at Sierra Leone, though a British or mixed commission court returned her to her owners. Lucia 3, April 1810, Tigress captured Lucia off Rio Pongas and the Vice Admiralty Court at Freetown condemned her. There is no record how many slaves, if any, the capture freed. On 10 May, Tigress sailed for home in Arifit. She returned quickly and made further captures. Pez Volador, August 1810. She was a Spanish schooner that Tigress captured off the Isles de Las. Although the court restored Pez Volador to her owners, Still 82 slaves received their freedom. Marquis de Romana, 22 September 1810, Tigress captured the British ship off Badagree and landed 101 slaves at Freetown where the court condemned the slave ship. Elizabeth, 4 April 1811, Tigress captured Elizabeth, an American vessel, off Cape Mount and brought her into Freetown where the court condemned her. 87 slaves received their freedom. The Vice Admiralty Court at Sierra Leone declared both Marquis de Romana and Elizabeth as forfeited to His Majesty for offenses committed against the Act for the Abolition of the Slave Trade. From mid-May until in June, Lieutenant Bones was acting Governor of Sierra Leone. 
while he was acting governor, Tigress remained at Freetown. However, her boats continued to patrol for slave ships. In July, Tigress's boats took possession of Capac, which the mercantile brig telegraph had brought in. The court condemned Capac as droits of admiralty. Lastly, Tigress seized the Portuguese ship Packet Volant and the Portuguese schooner Urbano on 26 August off Cabanda. The court returned both to their owners. However, 38 and 59 slaves received their freedom. Between 18 and 27 September, Tigress was in the river Pongas retrieving the schooner George, which had grounded there. On 20 February 1812, Lieutenant Bones left Tigress. He would receive promotion to commander shortly thereafter. Lieutenant William Carnegie replaced Bones. Tigress sailed for Cape Coast Castle and Accra on 12 April. There she loaded ivory and gold dust. She finally sailed for Britain on 31 May after almost three years with the West Africa Squadron. During her tour of duty, she had made eight seizures that had resulted in the freeing of almost 500 slaves. Tigress returned to England at the end of July 1812. On 5 August, Tigress was one of many British ships that shared in the capture of the Asia. In the autumn, Lieutenant William Carnegie took command of Tigress at Plymouth. Algerine Tigress went on to serve in the Baltic in 1813 under Lieutenant Robert Henderson. In 1814, the Navy converted Tigress to a 14-gun cutter and on 21 April 1814 renamed her Algerine, HMS Algerine 1810-1810, having been wrecked the previous year. Algerine was recommissioned in August 1816 under her last commander, Lieutenant William Price. On 12 December, her boats, together with those of the revenue cutter Harpy, the London Gazette announced that on 15 August 1817, the monies due as a result of picking up these kegs of spirits at sea would shortly be ready for payment. On 14 December, Algerine was the last vessel to see HMS Mistletoe before Mistletoe disappeared in a storm. Fate The principal officers and commissioners of His Majesty's Navy offered the Algerine Cutter of 229 tons for sale at Portsmouth on 29 January 1818. Algerine sold there on that date to Thomas Pittman for 450 pounds. Notes, Cetacean Oblists, and References Notes Citations, references, Chapel Howard Irving, 1967, The Search for Speed Under Sail, 1700 minus 1855, New York, Norton, College, J.J. A. A Warlow, Ben, 2006, 1969, Ships of the Royal Navy, The Complete Record of All Fighting Ships of the Royal Navy, Reverend Ed, London, Chatham Publishing. ISBN 978 minus 1 minus 86,176 minus 281 minus 8. Grindel, Peter, 2016. Opposing the Slavers, the Royal Navy's Campaign Against the Atlantic Slave Trade. I. B. Torres. Assenbone Mitnew. Pepper, David J., 1994. British Warship Losses in the Age of Sail, 1650-1859. Rotherfield, Jean Boudriot. ISBN 0 948,864 minus 30 minus 3. Winfield, Riff 2008. British Warships in the Age of Sail, 1793 1817. Design, Construction, Careers and Fates. Seaforth Publishing. ISBN 978 minus 1 minus 86,000. 176 minus 246 minus 7.